Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. Am I even recording on this beautiful day? How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out Discord, check out all the beautiful things and you're good to go. In the last video, I did a little blunder thing. <clears throat> what I did was, I fixed it now. Uh, this was an issue right here and a really nice viewer, thank you man. Uh, he told me that I did this and what I was doing is what I was nullifying the entire I was setting the entire array to null pointer not a single element so what you want is you want to put that element to null pointer that little little pointer there set that to null pointer you're good one thing that I realized with <clears throat> with our beautiful little uh, beautiful little thing here inventory is that it's not a regular dynamic array as we have made before it's just it's a array that's gonna have a fixed size to it and this size is gonna be set <clears throat> once we create the inventory so I'm just gonna set a capacity variable here and we're gonna have that as a must-have when we're creating this thing our inventory and that capacity is going to be set from the start since we don't want an unlimited inventory we can create an inventory that we can just add items to add items to on and on and on and then not have not have this uh, this inventory have a limit like that and I'm thinking how I'm gonna do that but let's start off with this and we're gonna set that <clears throat> Here instead, capacity equals capacity. And we're going to kind of skip doing that in here in the initialize function. Although I'm going to call the initialize function here. Now, this is going to be much more complicated. It's not going to be this simple. Uh, we're going to be able to load an inventory from a file, save it to a file. There's a lot of things you have to do. Sorry about that. A lot of things you have to do when you're thinking about an inventory. So, you can have this is going to be a player specific inventory so we don't have to think about adding this to um, a chest or something chest might be its own class with its own type of functionality so we're gonna we're gonna do some extra coding for the training sake all right but there you go this initialize and what initialize does is just nullifies everything bum 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 we're good to go we're probably not gonna need an expand then so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the expand uh, freeing the memory is great. It's a good thing to do. Uh, and the destructor, we're just going to call this free memory. And that's just going to delete everything for us. Make sure uh, it's all empty. I don't need to do anything more here. What I do need is I need a few more functions. And one of those functions are going to be public. So functions. We're going to have accessors modifiers and functions so the first of our function is going to be clear void clear and this is going to clear all the memory this isn't going to just delete everything and stuff this is going to clear it and nullify it so we can add more stuff to our inventory later that's the idea functions this is going to oh, caught a little cold today sorry about that uh, this is going to just go through all of the items and we're not going to delete the array itself we're just going to clear out everything so we're going to delete all the items okay that there are and then we're going to do uh, this nullify from zero so we're going to nullify the entire entire thing but just make sure you delete everything so uh, you don't have any issues that's good so that's what clear is going to do and don't forget to set don't forget to set this number of items to zero as well. It's very important. Otherwise, you're gonna have an issue there. Once that's done, we're good. Now there are a few very important functions that we need to uh, we need to create here. So just check this out. Unsigned, unsigned, signed uh, reference const god damn i forgot that oh what am i doing unsigned const unsigned reference <clears throat> get 
or just say size size boom very easy very easy simple we're gonna define that now before we do anything in it we're gonna define some more stuff so size const unsigned reference max size whatever just to get the capacity um, and that's gonna get whoops okay that's gonna get the capacity for us I'm clicking all kinds of buttons right now uh, but there we go then we're gonna do a bool this is not an accessor actually this is more of an more of a function const bool uh, empty so this is gonna check it for empty it's a very simple function that is uh, that is very nice uh, const <clears throat> const after these as well don't forget that there we go and we're gonna define that in a second as well so empty size max size empty and then of course we're gonna have to have our uh, void add or bool add const bool add and then we're gonna have an item pointer item so we can just put a new item in here uh, const bool remove and then we're gonna have a unsigned index const unsigned index and that's gonna remove an item for us define these as well whoops define that for me please and remove so there we go now we have a bunch of functions and this is the code this is what we've added so you can just pause the video write that down if you want here is the definition so let's go up to go up to the top don't worry too much all right let's go up to the top and let's look at the accessors right here and then we're gonna have modifiers so don't worry the size let's start off with that um, return this number of items very simple very good uh, this is also const this is also const and in here return this capacity if you ever want to use that you might not ever need that uh, clear is fine empty is very simple return uh, if no this number of items so if that's true then it's empty if it's not then obviously it's not empty so you can just do that very simple um, or you could just do this number of no no you have to do it like that okay adding is gonna be a little more tough and we're gonna have to get into that but before we do let's define a few more things const bool save to file std const std string file name like that and we're gonna do a load from file as well load from file as well now it's gonna be a little more tough because we're gonna need to know what type of item it is and everything so we're gonna we're gonna have to make a big ass uh, if statement but somehow we'll we'll solve it eventually so you don't have to worry load from file save to file load from file so both of these will give me an okay if that worked out or not and this is very important because we need to save the items we're getting otherwise we're gonna have big issues so these are the functions we need to define and we're gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna be jumping a little bit from thing to thing I might work more on enemies make another enemy class whatever but we'll, we'll get to all these fundamental things as we go along dropping items I want to make sure enemies can move as well so we have a bunch of things this this game is complicated now it has so many things so many parts to it and it's it's insane so I'm getting uh, I'm getting to the point where you know it's like mm, what should I do but we'll figure it out thank you for watching thanks for sticking with me and all the support also check out the description box like I said check out discord the my support page all that stuff everything is appreciated all the support is appreciated Thanks, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.